Danella Thompson with ETB. I'm here with Mr. Jomo Kenyatta Bean. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Mr. Bean. Well, first, I'd like to uh, want to thank you for having me on your show. Um, I'm a community activist, director, and um, playwright and co-founder of the Ethiopian Theater in New Orleans. And as a community activist, I've been um, uh, get involved in a lot of things uh, that are happening in our community, as well as um, doing culture activities. So tell us, how did you get started in theater? Well, in 1973, right after I returned back from Los Angeles, California, uh, studying under the, the great legendary Nick Stewart at Ebony Showcase Theater, after uh, returning home, a group of teenagers from the uh, regular areas, the community high school, approached me and asked me, could I assist them in putting a theater together? So as co-founded, along with my brothers, Anthony, uh, Floyd, we organized the Ethiopian Theater and gave it its name from one of the greatest countries where we can really trace our rich history from and we are accomplishing so much now because we, are, we have been able to get young people from out of the community and we molding them into the artists that they and giving everyone the opportunity as a, as a stepping stone to enter a theater and display their talents. Where do you see Ethiopian theater in 10 years and how do you view the pictures, the playwrights that are out now? Well, in the next 10 years, if I'm still around, and this is what is important now to move, to try to get the young people involved, which I'm successfully doing at this time, and so I can pass the torch on. But to see Ethiopia in the next 10 or 20 years is to keep the same philosophy we had, a community-based organization, an institution of higher learning, where we are able to mirror in on the black experience and to show that our experiences are, are similar to, uh, to others. Most of our younger generation, they're familiar with Tyler Perry, Mel Jackson. What do you think about those playwrights? Well, the playwrights have taken on a new development of writing plays, that's for sure. Uh, you have to remember when Ethiopian theater was organized, the playwrights that we, our, my generation at that time, was took on was Langston Hughes and uh, Douglas Turner Ward, uh, plays that were designed to educate and teach as well as entertain. Now, what today playwrights are, is more of a social aspect than a political aspect of life. But however, it is still important for us to still continue the playwright, the black playwright, who has a, a responsibility to their, to their community. Uh, we got to remember when Ethiopian Theater was organized in New Orleans, we only had three black theaters. The Daishiki Theater, the uh, Free Southern Theater, and then Ethiopian Theater is the youngest one that came along. But the way we look at theater as an institution of higher learning, there should be a theater on every corner like there's a bar and a funeral home. You know, I mean, it's, it is a place where we can educate and teach our people. Mr. Bean, who influenced you as far as playwrights? Who inspired you to write the plays and the, the type of plays that you write? Well, actually, when I started writing, I was in junior high school. And I was told to write a play in my English class and to put a story together. And I've written one. I didn't know how good it was until I brought it back to the school. And they loved the place so bad much is that when I got home, I had social workers, police officers, everybody at my house <laughs> because they didn't realize a guy at my age could create such a storyline and such a play unless I have lived that life. The teachers and everyone had me reading plays on Langston Hughes, um, uh, playwrights like Douglas Turner Ward, and everybody like that, they, they really built me, my, my aspiration to write plays. And what I've learned from those plays, and even as a kid going to Free Southern Theater, by sitting in there, I learned more watching those plays by those authors 
Then I've learned going to school for 12 years in high school. The way the playwright at that time structured things was to enlighten our minds and give us our, the consciousness that we needed to carry on as a, as a human being, not just as a black man, but as a human being. Mr. Bean, I would like to thank you again for coming on the show. My pleasure. And to view Mr. Bean's upcoming plays, please go to www.ethiopiantheater.org.